hey guys i hope everyone is doing well i did want to show you guys my bird cage this will be a quick um cage tour simply because one i only have one bird cage um because i don't have a lot of birds i don't plan on ever having a lot of birds um so one cage as of now now a little bit about the cage let me do you guys a small um top to bottom I also want to uh, say a few things before I start showing what's inside my cage. Uh, number one is this is going to be a very realistic cage tour. Like I don't want to put anything pretty just for the sake of YouTube. Um, the bottom of the cage is also very dirty. The bottom always gets changed on a Wednesday. So today is a Tuesday and as you can see it's filled with you know budgie poop and all kinds of mess um but you know that's just part of having a bird i mean that's just very common um so let me start i also want you guys to know that i had this cage pre-ordered i am gonna be very honest i kind of forgot the parrot shop i think it was called perch paradise Okay, I, or, you know what, to be honest, I might be butchering that. So instead, I'll have a link down below. This cage was close to $500. It is expensive, but to be honest, as I mentioned before, I always plan on having birds, but I don't plan on having many birds. And because of that, having one cage that's durable is good enough. This is the front of my cage, um, and that's the bottom um, door. Um, let me open it for you guys. I'm really hoping that none of this footage is blurry, but I am trying my best. It's a very big door. Um, that's that. I'm going to close it. And then I'm going to show you guys the top part. This is my favorite feature of this cage. Um, your birds actually cannot even get out because the moment they try, it's just going to fall back um, into position. Like it falls down. And that also means that it's always locked. I am going to open the cage, but this might also mean that you won't be seeing Blossom a lot. Because Blossom just loves being on my shoulder. So she might just be getting out. We'll see. Oh, this is hard to do with one hand. There we go. So, oh, there we go. Blossom's making an entrance. Blossom, do you want to say hi? I didn't even do anything, girl. Do you want to say hi? Nope, she doesn't want to. Okay, and as I said, she was going to jump on me. So, this is good because your birds could step on this. I have this acrylic owl toy. Um, They really like it. And then I have this flat perch. So, when my birds want to play with the owl toy, they could just sit on this flat perch. Not sit, but like you get what I mean, stand on it. And they could play with their toy. This perch... um. I forgot where I got it, but they really like it. Now, I am going to be honest. I really like the perch. I am going to buy a new one, and I'll tell you why. In between, you could see little holes. If your bird poops inside it, it's actually very difficult to get. And after a while, even if you use a toothbrush, I think it's just best with these kind of perches. After maybe like two years or so. And it, again, depends on your bird. But mine, I think it's good to renew it. Before I got Blossom, Kiwi and Edward had this toy. They didn't seem very interested in it. Uh, Blossom seems to like this toy a lot more. This is a perch. It's on the thinner side. I think it's also very suitable for canaries. Um, they seem to like it. It is smaller for my cockatiel. But I don't remove it because Edward and Kiwi absolutely love this perch. I don't know what it is, but they just seem to adore it. This is another perch I have. This perch, if anyone is on my Instagram, they could see it because you know that little stub? Uh, all my birds love that stub. So that's the little pointy part that all my birds love. It is because it's actually a very good scratching tool. It's very hard to film inside this cage. They like holding on to it and scratching themselves. So this is a swing that I have. Very simple. Nothing crazy. My birds 
love swings this is a swing i got the swing actually looks bigger on camera i don't know if it's just me but it's actually a very not very small but uh, it fits my budgie as well it, they really like it okay showing my ro rope perch is gonna be very difficult but this is my rope perch um it's just the angle um it's very hard to film inside the cage um with with rope perches you have to be careful my birds don't chew on it but if your birds do um obviously you're gonna have to remove it again my birds don't so i got this toy i'm gonna try filming inside it but um this toy it has these small circular um i think it should be vine i'm not too sure they're very pretty and very colorful uh, this is another miserable, sad looking toy that I have. That is because, again, Blossom chewed it apart. Um, and to be honest, again, I'm not bothered by it. I rather have my birds chew toys rather than not chew. Um, so they, she seems to really like this toy as well. This is another toy I have. I think a lot of people are familiar with this toy. This is my second time buying it. And it's a really interesting toy. It has bells at the bottom. Um, Kiwi and Edward really like this. So this is the water bowl that we use. This is the size medium. I had small. But since I got Blossom, I wanted something more larger. So we went for medium. Uh, I really like it. My birds don't chew on it because this is plastic. So make sure your birds don't chew on it. Uh, you don't want your birds to be digesting that. Uh, this is another perch. Uh, I got this perch at the same place where I got my cage. This perch is um, sand dusted. I remember she was telling me, the owner, about how unique these perches were. So I got two. This is another perch. Wait, that's kind of how it looks like. This was actually a bit hard to show, um, but this is a swing I got. I do remember where I got this from. It was from PetSmart. This is another perch that I have. Um, it's very interesting, actually. The top part of the perch is smooth, and the bottom part is textured, so your bird's foot won't be hurting. Um, so it's very interesting. It'll, the bottom part will only... Uh, you know their nails will only be touching it so i am not going to show you guys all the bowls but i have two on each side this is how they look like and pretty much you could just um unlock it and then you could just remove their food bowls so this is kind of hard to do with one hand but then you could remove it and then tuck it back in place with just about any toys also you have to be careful um no toy is going to be 100% safe. Uh, I try going for what my birds like. Um, this toy I got from Things for Wings. Guys, I forgot to film an outro. Um, but this is the end of the cage tour. I have a new one coming soon. Very soon. So, bye-bye for now. Say bye, Blossom. Bye-bye, guys.